Hey, what's going on internet? In this video, we're gonna be looking at the largest asset pack for filmmakers, video editors, motion graphic artists, VFX artists. And this pack has over 8,000 assets and we're gonna be looking at it in this video. So I hope everyone's having a great day today. My name is Josh Noel and I'm from Sunduck Film. So I was scouring through Video Hive and I came across one product called Cine Punch, which has over 8,000 assets. And I was genuinely curious about how there's 8,000 assets in this pack. So I went ahead and downloaded it, you know, with that YouTube money. And what's crazy about this pack is that there's 8,000 assets for $48. And if you do the math, that's like around a half of a penny per asset. You can't even buy one asset because we don't have the currency for it. And the pack ranges from lens flares, distortions, haze, fog, you know, color correction, sound effects, and so much more. And we'll go through that in this video. And if you wanna learn more about Cine Punch at any time, you go ahead and check our links in the video description. It'll take you right over to Cine Punch where you can view all of the assets and all the packs inside of these assets, which is really awesome because there's just so much we're not gonna be able to go through everything in this video. So we'll go ahead and jump into the first assets. So first off, we'll take a look at one of my favorite elements, which is particles, which is great for motion graphics and also compositing onto, you know, video as well. But for example, here's just a simple title animation. And if I go ahead and throw in some, you know, particles, I could bring it into our timeline. And we're going to want to scale these down because these are 4K assets. And some of these assets are even 8K. Change the blend mode to screen. And this is great for title motion graphics. And it's just so nice to have all these particle assets in here. And let's say I'm working with video and I want something just very subtle. We have a category just for set subtle atmosphere particles. I can preview one just by bringing it up. And if I like it, I can bring it into our Premiere project. And then I can bring it on top of my footage and shorten that up and double click it. And of course we can scale this down so this fits our video and then go to the blend mode just like we did in After Effects and set it to screen. And if we need to, we can always lower the opacity on this so it blends a little better together and that looks pretty cool. And next up, we'll take a look at lens flares and I just downloaded a few of these anamorphic lens flares. And what's cool about these lens flares, they're shot on real anamorphic lenses. So you can take a look here, there's Cook lens flares, there's Lomo lens flares and Hawk lens flares. And Hawk and Cook lenses have been used on a variety of different feature films, which is really cool. So here's just a simple composition with no lens flare in here. And we just quickly add a Lomo lens flare to this composition. And now for lens flare, it adds a lot of extra detail to our title. And it's just a nice way to add lens flares to motion graphics. So now I have a clip here in Premiere that I could use a lens flare because the background's kind of hot. Perhaps I'll go in here and grab like a gleam. And there's so many different lens flares in here that you're going to have to check out. And then I can bring this lens flare right into here. We'll change the blend mode to screen. And now it looks like there's an actual lens flare in the scene as if we shot it in camera. So that's just one of the uses for using lens flares. So using motion graphics and also uh, with footage. There's also a handful of light leaks that work very nicely. So, so essentially you can use it as like a transition or just as a nice overlay. We can use this here as a, just a quick transition. And as you see, it blends these two clips very nicely together. And with this light leak pack, there's a handful of these that look very nice and you can use it in a variety of different ways. And a big feature of Cine Punch, which is outstanding, is the transitions pack for Premiere. So what we can do to bring this into Premiere, simply go to our presets folder, right click it and click on import presets. We'll navigate to the transitions punch folder, go to install, and we can install this preset and click open. And now we have a preset folder inside of Premiere with a handful of different transitions that we can apply really quick. So for example, I can apply like a film reel, apply it to the end of this clip. And now we have a very nice transition and I can easily control this by selecting our keyframes and bringing it inward. And we can quickly add a glitch in transition uh, and boom, that looks really cool. There's just a handful of glitch transitions and along with a ton of different categories in here. And if you want to see more in depth about these transitions, you can go ahead and check our links in the video description. There's a lot more information on the page that talks about each of these transitions because there are 650 transitions that we just can't go through in this video. And another specific pack is called Glam, which is essentially bokeh elements. And this works great with footage and even motion graphics, but when you're doing more, say, fashion type stuff, and applying this quick bokeh animation is pretty interesting. Uh, of course, this may not have been the right asset for this, you know, clip, but there's just a handful of bokeh assets which can look great for motion graphics. Now let's take a quick look at the sound effects in this pack. Now let's keep in mind there's 2,300 plus sound effects in here, and they're all nicely organized into these folders, and we'll just take a quick listen to some of these just to get some ideas. Fiery hit, that's cool. Now that's pretty cool. That's some good high-end sound design there for maybe some you know action sequences. Mm, 
that's pretty cool for some trailer stuff. That would be nice for some motion graphics. But anyway, I'm not going to go through all 2300 in here. There's just so many sound effects that, you know, quite honestly, even if there's some that you don't need, there's going to be a handful that you can use for your project. So, so I can go on for a much longer demoing some of these assets. But some of the other notable assets that I didn't go through is obviously the Disruption VFX Suite, which is these nice distortions that you apply to your footage. The Filmmaker VFX Suite, which is a handful of different types of effects you can apply to your footage. And the Fractal Pack, which is a phenomenal pack for, you know, backgrounds for motion graphics. And of course, another big pack we didn't go through is a handful of color corrections known as LUTs. Uh, and there's hundreds of those that we didn't go through as well. So my closing thoughts on this pack is that there's just so many assets in this pack that you won't possibly download everything and use it all. It's important to know what you need and get ideas for how you can use this on multiple projects. And you should be able to come up with ideas on how you can use this on just about every single project. Now, with that said, I didn't personally find any elements that I didn't like. However, there's probably a handful of elements that probably won't work on everything because there is 8,000. But for the most part, I found tremendous value in everything. And if I only use say 100 assets out of this entire pack, you know, for $48, that's definitely worth it. I mean, I can't believe that for the current price of $48, you get 8,000 assets. So that's just a fraction of Cine Punch. If you want to learn more about Cine Punch, go ahead and check our links in the video description and you can check out all the categories and assets that are within this amazing 8,000 plus asset pack. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sunduck Film. We post two post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description. And always, be creative.